And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? Morning. I know you say, um, or I wanted to quote somebody that was in the hot seat a while ago, and it said, this stuff really works because I put myself in the good feeling place and the manifestation has come. So having said that, I just was wondering what it's like for the 45 seconds that Esther is at the podium. I know words don't teach, but maybe you could say what you're feeling so we could understand that. Well, what Esther is doing there is making her statement of intent and then relaxing until she feels, in other words, you heard us talking about how there's a vibration that is intelligence. In other words, it is message. It is knowing. But it is indiscernible unless there is a translation of the vibration. So Esther is there in an attitude or mood of well-being, acknowledging her willing, not just willing, but wanting, desirous participation. And then she holds herself in that non-resistant vibration until the thoughts start being received by her. In other words, what you're witnessing there is that... Because you seem to nod your head a couple of times and... Well, that's her acknowledging. I hear you. Okay. I hear you. I got it. I hear you. It's Esther saying, I'm ready. It's Abraham saying, let's go. It's Esther saying, okay, and then off we go. Sometimes we hold entire seminars there without you. <laughs> All right, that's good. I just was wondering, uh, like you say, everybody has the ability to do what you do. And I'm wondering if I'm holding myself in a good feeling place till the manifestation comes. Am well, I doing what you're doing? There's one clarification that we want to make with you. And then we'll answer that question specifically. Instead of saying, I'm holding myself in a good feeling place. And then the manifestation comes. We want you to acknowledge that the good feeling is a manifestation. Okay, right. Because that's a piece that's missing for so many. It's like, I'll find this happy place and then what I really want will come. Where what you really want is the happy place. Mm -hmm. And the reason you know that is because the reason you want all that to come is so that you can feel happy. Mm -hmm. So once you've accomplished that, let's call that emotion a manifestation. And let's, if you can, let's let it be the manifestation that you're reaching for. Something more? That's it. We want to add something really quickly, and that is that if something unsettling happens during the break, for example, if Esther hears someone say in a panicked voice, my camera won't come on. <laughs> or the white balance hasn't been reset. And she looked orange. now we're just making stuff up <laughs> then it takes longer for Esther to come into that vibration okay. of allowing right. in other words she's got stuff she's got to let go of right. Right. I don't want to be orange 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 and finally she just lets it go and accepts that if she's orange she's orange so sometimes that's why the amount of time that okay. it takes before she actually moves into that is because it depends on if there is any resistance for her to relax out of the way up right, yeah. Right. yeah thank you that's so good thank you thank you cut it out <laughs> no reason to worry about anybody I had a vision of creating wealth and an opportunity came to me to manifest it into a house I know I shouldn't face the reality but the price isn't as sort of performance as, as I was expected and I feel I don't have the ability to control the whole e economy market and I would like to know what do I do to be most effective and to trust this is the best experience and the outcome 
would just follow and the manifestation would be exactly what I want is this something that has already occurred are you already in that process yes and so thinking in terms of what feels best to you since everything that comes to you comes in response to your vibration and your vibration is indicated by how you're feeling then isn't it logical that the things that you say to yourself that shore yourself up the things that you say to yourself that cause you to feel more and more secure are the things that cause you to offer a vibration that would bring back to you things that you want isn't that logical yes so when you say I can't control the economy of the world or I can't control the market you may want to add something to that such as and I don't have to you may want to add something to that such as there are people who thrive in all economies or sometimes an economy that seems not as good to the masses is really a better economy for the masters in other words those who focus always thrive do you acknowledge that yes that there are those who thrive in all economies so it's a matter of soothing yourself give us some of the words that you've been saying to yourself or out loud about this experience everyone who might have experienced this they usually jump higher or they go higher than where they were and people utilize this experience to see there's more opportunity out there and I don't know sharpen their awareness of what they want good and this is my sorting and find out what I want exactly and the longer view is always helpful in other words not looking too soon not taking score too soon giving it an opportunity to demonstrate what my vibration really is things are always working out for me 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 <laughs> so give us the specifics of your question more fully okay so for anyone who might have a desire in their vortex and if something that they want and since I have a desire in my vortex of something that I want I know so specifically and I thought I was in a really good place to receive that but if it's something not exactly as match or what I expected what should I do then you should say it's still in the process of becoming and this is a clarifying experience for me and in time I will see the benefit of this clarifying experience and things are getting better and better and as I don't take score too soon in other words what are the aspects of the experience that do feel good to you creating and to know that I can do something like this and to understand there's so many ways to get to where you want and you see you're saying something so important and this conversation may be the most important conversation that we have during the entire voyage because you're hitting upon something that we haven't talked much about and all of you are experiencing to some degree so just relax while we sort this out so many times as we are talking about creating you are talking about things that you desire that have not yet manifested and we talk about how you have to bridge that gap you've got to find the feeling place of it you have to feel the essence of it and if you live with the essence of it long enough then the absence of it has to go away you can't live the essence of something and practice the vibration of it and prevent it from coming it has to come but it's an interesting thing there are two ways that we want to approach this with you the subject of buyers remorse I was really excited about it I thought I wanted it and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out and so now I'm sorry that I did it I wish that I had done something different or I feel as if I've made a mistake and we want you to understand that the only thing that has happened and the only reason that you feel the negative emotion that you feel is because at the time that you felt the inspiration to do it you were in vibrational sync with your own desire 
since then something has happened that has caused you to not be in sync with your own desire now you might want to argue no Abraham it isn't that I'm not in sync with my own desire it's that this piece of crap that I bought <laughs> isn't in sync with my desire and we say but that's why you're not in sync with your desire in other words you are letting the what is control your vibration so you're out of whack with your own desire so it can't become what you want it to be so we want to say to you that no creation is ever finished and that what buyers remorse is is not staying true to your own desire now you want to argue well why would I stay true to a desire that I think is manifested that doesn't match up to my desire and we say because it isn't done it's always in the state of becoming and whether you've actually made the purchase or whether you have actually had those wedding vows whether you've actually closed the deal on something it's still not done it's still not done it's never finished and so your work all the time your work continues to be to find alignment with your desire to find alignment with your desire because when you find alignment with your desire the what is must morph into the vibrational reality and the only thing the only thing that prevents what you want to call your see it hear it smell it taste it touch it full-blown manifestation from being as you dreamed it or as you want it to be is that you are giving your attention to it as it is and therefore hindering its ability to show you how it can be what you've dreamed we enjoy watching you in the pre manifestation stages of things because it's the pre see it hear it smell it taste it touch it manifestation stage where your energy is usually the clearest as you're dreaming your relationship or as you're dreaming your financial empire or as you're dreaming your work enterprise as you're dreaming it your vibration is usually clearer and then we're talking about before the first board is hammered in the building and before the first equipment is brought in and before the first employees are hired you get the sense of what we're talking about because once you begin living in your reality that's when you start noticing the aspects of it that aren't pleasing to you and that's when you start hindering the continuation of it being as you dreamed it because you're facing the reality in other words you're getting your cart before your horse you're demanding that the condition give you what you want and if you could stop demanding that the condition be the reason that you're joyful and instead find your ability to dream it and imagine it to be the reason that you're joyful then it has to catch up with the dream it has to you're facing reality is what hinders you you see so there is this misunderstanding it's a sort of flawed premise that goes like this I stand without something I want I dream it dream it dream it dream it dream it purchase it and it should be exactly as I've dreamed it and we say it's going to be whatever it is and it's going to reflect to you what you've been offering vibrationally and it will demonstrate to you the mix of vibrations that you've got going on every single time and now you still have more opportunity to clean up your vibration more opportunity to find the path of most allowance more opportunity and everything in your life will continue to transform right before your eyes as a perfect reflection back to you of what you've got going on vibrationally everything no exception every time